All right, folks. How you doing? Uh, I'm Zell58, and we're doing my first ever video. My f first ever video is going to be a let's play. I'm uh, I'm a little nervous about this, uh, just because I'm not great at a let's play series. But uh, I've been inspired by people like H. C. Bailey, um, who does a fantastic job at let's play videos. Anyways, uh, I'll I'll talk about him more throughout this game I'm sure. We're playing Final Fantasy 6 if you can't tell by now this is by far my favorite RPG um, I've played it so many times as a kid I got so many people into the game as a kid um, because of the two player feature which I guess not a whole lot of people knew about I was kinda surprised by that um, well surprised by the fact that a role playing game had a two player feature um, I played Super Mario RPG uh, before I played this game, and so I guess that was the first RPG, and maybe I'll do a Let's Play on that. I don't know. As as of right now, I'm just seeing how well I do with this, and how well the, uh, I guess, uh, how well the reaction is, I guess. Um, so as you see, I kind of speed up the, the game from time to time, uh, just because I have a good idea of where I want to stop at, and I don't want certain fights to drag on. Um, maybe I'll play around and see if I can do the H.C. Bailey method, as I'd like to call it, where he just edits out the fight and you don't really notice anything. Uh, but until then, you just gotta stick with me on this. Um, I'm recording this a very ghetto way. I got the game playing. Oh, I love this part. Even though I skipped it, I just love the fact that they're just storming towards an arch. Uh, and the music's playing, but uh, I had to cut it out to save time. And I'm sorry, there's there's a lot of this music that I love in this game, and uh, I, I I want people to enjoy it as much as as much as I did. But at the same time, I I want to try to get through this so I'm not just lagging in in Narsh. Um, as you see, we have Wedge, Vix, and then the girl with all question marks. And uh, I always thought it was kind of funny because. Obviously, if you catch the reference, Wedge and Vix are from um, Star Wars, uh, which they fought for the Rebellion against the Empire, and in this game, they fight for the Empire. Um, whoa, that was kind of weird, a little lag on the audio there. Um, like I said, once again, it's uh, my recording method's very ghetto. I just, uh, you know, I've, I've been watching these Let's Play videos for a long time, and I was all like, hey, why don't I make one? You know, I hear, hear, you know, my friends tell me how much of an RPG nut I am, and sometimes I get like eight or nine RPGs going on, and my friends are all like, I don't know how you keep track of that. And, uh, yeah, figured what the hey, I'm gonna make a Let's Play. Um, and why not make it of my favorite uh, RPG of all time to start out with, and then see where it goes from there. As you see, um, the girl with all question marks, we're not gonna say her name yet, she has uh, more text than anyone else on the team, more than Wedge or Vix, and I like to use Bioblast just because it attacks multiple targets, and as you'll see right here, I screw up and and I hit uh, a guard instead of the Lobo and guard. Oops. <laughs> um, yeah, Bioblast is, is my favorite attack, and then Tech Missile. Um, so you'll see me use that a lot uh, well, as I'm on these Maytech armors. Uh, the thing that always got to me is if the Empire was so into wanting to get this Esper and, you know, would go to such a length as to send one of their best uh, generals, and why'd they only send three of them? I mean, I, I, I think you'll see what I mean in the future, but they just send three to, to take over uh, an Esper and Narsh? That's, that's kind of... Uh, I think the Empire's kind of slacking on that. Maybe they were busy with other things going on, I guess. Um, yeah, okay, very scatter-minded right now. As you see, I'm uh, just trying to plow through, trying to uh, beat the first boss, and reminds me of when I was a kid, when I first played this game. Um, I had trouble with the first boss. I, I couldn't believe myself. You'll, you'll see what I mean. I'll get, I'll get to that in a second. But, uh, all right, looks like we made it. According to our source, the frozen esper should be in one of these caves. So here we go. Oh yeah, yeah, I 
Alright, maybe I should watch uh, doing the speeding up. It's getting the audio track all messed up. Oh well. <laughs> like I said, just bear with me. I'm, I'm figuring this out as I go along. And, uh, you know, maybe one day I'll, I'll have a uh, great way of doing it. But until then, uh, just uh, have faith in me. <laughs> Alright, so about to get into one of the first boss battles. Well, the first boss battle of the game kind of a tutorial area, I guess, this whole thing. Oh, I love this part right here. I'll handle this, then back. Thanks, Vix. Thanks for, for being a man, manning up, and, and finally deciding to uh, go ahead and do something rather than throwing this, this poor girl that can't think for herself. Alright, here we go, our first boss battle. Hold it, think back to our briefing. What about it? Do you recall hearing about a monster that eats lightning? It stores energy in its shell. Oh my god. Alright, so whatever you do, don't attack its shell. Alright, already. Come on, I mean, that, that, that's a pretty obvious uh, trick. I mean, they're, they're, they're telling you exactly how to beat this boss. So, with uh, the girl, I definitely recommend using Tech Missile. It does, as you see, nearly 500 damage. Whereas the ice and fire beams only do about 200. So, I mean, and then once you see the monster go grew, it's gonna hide in its shell. Uh, great time to heal up your characters if you need to. Don't attack it now, it will uh, attack back with, I believe, Gigavolt. Maybe it's Gigavolt? Uh, I don't know. Uh, but it will attack your entire party. Won't kill them, won't wipe them out, but it will do a lot of damage. So like I was saying, when, when I first played this game as a kid, I had such trouble with this boss that I lost, I think, the first three times, and then I got frustrated, and the person who was letting me borrow the game, I was like, this game's so hard, and they're like, well, where are you stuck at? And I'm like, I'm fighting that, that that's a snail beast. Of course I got laughed at, and, you know, it's all like, don't attack its shell, and, you know, here I was not even reading what it said, I was just going through the game thinking I could. Silly me. But obviously you see that I can do it now. I have beaten this game many a times and like I said, it's my favorite RPG, so obviously I'm going to uh, know how to play it. I might not know all the secrets, but I'm going to try to figure all of them out so I can show, make it an official Let's Play, because I know you shouldn't really make a Let's Play unless you know everything about the game. So we meet our first Esper, that's Frozen. Looks like a big bird, if you ask me. So the girl has some sort of connection with this that Wix and Veg... Wix and Veg... Wedge and Vix don't uh, have. And as you see, they've disappeared. Looks like the Esper uh, took him out, but I uh, want to keep this girl. Now what the hell's going on? They're like frozen and lightning shooting, I didn't really get that. And then we find, we find the girl, alone, saved by this man. And looks like her uh, crown, her slave crown, was taken off, so now Empire has no control over her, thank god. It's really sad when the Empire has to go to such lengths as putting a slave crown. I mean, what, what's so important about her? I guess, you know, like, the soldiers were talking about it. So she's a mysterious young woman controlled by the Empire, and she has the gift of magic. And we will stick with the, uh, name Square gave her, Terra. Um, I guess that's what makes her so important, is the fact that she's one of the few humans that can use magic, naturally. And, uh, looks like the Empire is coming back to, uh, pick it up. Oh, wait, no. They're, they're the Narsh soldiers. My, my bad. Um... Oh, it has been a while. <laughs> so now, of course, then our soldiers want to kill Terra because she's just been running through the city, killing a whole bunch of different townsmen. And so, the old man, even though he's from Narsh, decides to help her out because he understands. And uh, he said, follow me, but uh, you want to go to this clock first and pick up that elixir. Elixir's always nice to pick up. Um, I personally don't like using them a whole lot, but that's just me. Uh, yeah, this looks like a good time to, sp to stop. So, I uh, will see you next time. Thank you for watching.